All right, well, Flo, in the meantime, uh, the Cannes Film Festival has kind of made a promise uh, this year, if you will. They vowed to go green, even uh, trimming uh, the famous red carpet in half. What more can you tell us? Absolutely. It's a symbolic move, but uh, the red carpet is usually changed uh, after each official screening, uh, and this time it's being changed once a day to cut down on uh, pollution. It's also made out of recyclable material uh, this year because uh, can organizers say that the climate emergency really is at the heart of their preoccupations, and so they've made 12 pledges for this festival uh, for the 12 days of this festival, and so that includes things like banning plastic bottles, uh, using electric vehicles, for all official transport. Uh, and then they're also showcasing several films uh, based on the environment. So seven films in total, and including a film called, uh, it's a film that was co-produced by uh, Marion uh, Cotillard, uh, and it's called Bigger Than Us. It's a film by Flore Vasseur. Now, what's interesting is none of these films are actually part of the official competition, but the fact that they're being featured at all is a very important thing, according to the French actress Marion Cotillard. Take a listen. Changer le monde, c'est une, une combinaison de plein de choses. Donc peut-être que le cinéma ne change pas le monde, mais en tout cas, euh, il peut le faire évoluer parce qu'il peut interpeller euh, euh, les, les gens. So that's the French actress Marion Cotillard there talking about uh, this importance of having environmentally uh, based films in the Cannes Film Festival. And we'll be bringing you all the latest, of course, throughout the end of this festival. And the 24 official films in the competition will be bringing you all of the details here on France 24. All right, Flo, well, thanks for bringing us.